Welcome back. Uh, uh, in this video, again, I'm continuing with uh, international Cambridge International Exams. Uh, now, this paper was taken from October 2006. This is question number five. In the previous two videos, I may I've solved up to question number four. And now the question is: Write the following number in order of size, starting with the smallest. Okay. So here you've got five numbers. Okay. So here. I've got 0 0.7, uh, that is 7 tenths, okay? And this is uh, 0 0.7 squared, means it is 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, which is 0 0.49, and 0 0.49 as a fraction is 49 out of 100. So this is, I would say, odd man out. So you've got seven tenths. Then you've got seven tenths, seven out of eleven, and seven out of nine. So let us look at this. Seven tenths, seven elevens, and seven nines. Suppose to give you an ex uh, a different example. Let me do a side example. See if you've got half, a quarter, and a third. Which is the smallest? The smallest is a quarter. So one quarter is less than one third, is less than one half. Okay, so when, if you have the top number equal, if the numerators are equal, so this is, if the numerators are equal, the greater the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So one quarter has the greatest denominator. See the top number are all one. So when you're looking at fraction, though one quarter is the smallest and one half is the greatest. You should understand one quarter is divide a pie into four pieces. That will be a quarter. Then this is three pieces. Uh, when you cut in three equal pieces, one third. In terms of percent, this is 25%. This is 33 and one third person, and this is 50 person. So, using that same logic, I can say 7 11 is the smallest. I'm comparing only these three. Okay, I'm only comparing these three. 7 7 11th is the smallest. Then you have 7 tenths, and then you have 7 out of 9. Okay, we are not use, allowed to use a calculator, and then this is. 49 out of uh, 49 out of 100. So this is 0 0.49, and this is this is 0 0.49, and this is 0 0.7. Okay. So the smallest I would say is this 0 0.49, because this would be this is 0 0.7. So this would be around 0 0.7. So that will be 0 0.6 or something. I'll use a calculator to just so this is all around 0 0.7. So the smallest is 0 0.49. So I'll write the answer here. I don't have the space. The smallest is 0 0.7 squared. Okay. Then you have, then the smallest is 7. After that is, you've got 7 out of 11. Okay. Then you've got 7 tenths. And finally, you've got 7 nine. So this is, how you write from the smallest to the largest. Okay. In a school election, John received 220 votes. This was 55% of the total number of votes. So, I can say, we can assume like this, let the total number of votes, let the total number of votes be equal to say x let us do a little bit of algebra so if you are saying that this is 220 votes is 55 percent so what they're saying is 55 percent of x is 220 votes now 55 percent is 55 percent is 55 out of 100 which is 0 0.55 so off I would say 
it's good to remember off as time. So this is 0 0.55 times x. Okay, you can you could have written say instead of x you could have written v, v for votes. So let me change that to let the total number of votes be v. So 55% of v is so times v is equal to 220. So this is I'm going to divide this side by point 0 0.55. So to also divide this side by 0 0.55 okay so what happens now so this and this gets cancelled let me change color so this and this gets cancelled so <clears throat> you got v is equal to 220 divided by 0 0.55 now 0 0.5 when you want to change the decimal into fraction so this can be written as 220 times 100 over 55. Now, how did this happen? To explain that, this is 220 divided by 0 0.55. And this is 220 divided by 55 out of 100. So that is 220. I've explained this in the previous video. When you change the division into multiplication, you swap the number over. That is 100 over 55. So what happened is this goes up and this comes down. And that's what happened. That's what, how I wrote. From here you can understand this. Now I'm going to divide 55 and 100. Okay. So, so if you divide, okay, instead of that I will do it shorter. So what 5 goes in 55 goes in 55 how many times? 5 goes in 55 11 times and 5 goes in 100 20 times. Now 11, now I'm going to divide both 11, 11 and 220 by 11. 11 goes in 11 1 times and 11 goes in 220 20 times. Okay, so you've got 20 times. So V is equal to 400 volts. Now, to confirm your answer, let us, it's always good to confirm your answer. So, we are saying the total votes, total votes is 400. Okay. So, just to do it fast, so what is 10%? 10% of this is 110, which is 40 votes. Okay. So, what is 5% of this? 5% is half of this, which is 20 votes. Okay, now what is 50%? 50% is half of this, which is 200 votes. So, and 5% is 20 votes. So, we have confirmed the answer. 55% is 220 votes. So, you can be quite pleased with your answer. And so, you can give yourself, say, five smiley face. See you in the next week.